Hello and welcome to Writer Rant, author advice in five minutes or less because I have to get back to writing and so do you. So welcome to season two of Writer Rant. I uh, hope you all had a lot of good ideas and questions over the break. Uh, but while you guys were out doing whatever you're doing, reading, writing, whatever, uh, I was doing a lot of reading, doing a lot of reviews, doing a lot of writing. Uh, I got my eighth novel written up in uh, 12 days in November for National Novel Writing Month. Uh, but something else that also happened to me in the interim is I got this strange phone call, or more accurately, my mother got a strange phone call from somebody from Reader's Magnet. And uh, they were saying, oh, hey, we love, we love Benjamin's books. We want to have his books in this book show, in this book fair in Germany. And they're saying, oh, well, you know, authors there sell a thousand copies of their books. And it's like, okay, that's nice, you know. If I could sell a thousand copies of my books, that's a good start. The trick is, is that it's a little too good to be true. And so there was a number of things that kind of led me to believe that this is a scam. And I never followed through with them, so obviously, you know, they can keep their own little thing over there, but there's a lot of things that authors are preyed on that I think if we're wise about it, you're not gonna get caught in these scams because there's a lot of scammers out there and they are specifically targeting authors. And some of the things that you're gonna notice is they're gonna be very vague about kind of what they need and kind of what they can do for you. Uh, they'll often oversell what they can do for you. They'll say, oh, we can sell millions of copies or whatever. And it's in a lot of different ways that they can kind of say, oh, well, we can do your internet marketing for you, or we can get you to a book fair, or you know, whatever. Facts of the matter are, is they're trying to get your money and you need to hold that tight, especially if you're self-published. It can be very tempting to kind of say, hey, I have you know, an advertising budget or whatever, and then give these people your money and then not see anything from it. So this is really, so for Reader's Magnet, this is really kind of the key in that if you use your real name as your pen name, like I do, uh, they can just go online and search you. And there are sites out there that will give your home address and your phone number and other information like that. Now granted, this information is never very accurate, and so that's why my mom back home got called when I haven't done any writing when I was in that household. It was all afterwards, but that was the only contact phone number that they had. So they reached out that way, and voila, there we are. And so, you know, it's that information that's out there that people will use to scam you in order to get your money, which Honestly, if you want to spend your money, it's up to you. But again, you got to recognize that if it's too good to be true, it probably is. I mean, a lot of these scams will work on economies of scale. They'll say, oh, well, you know, we have access to thousands and hundreds of thousands of readers, which will buy your book. And it's like, hey, that means in your head, you're thinking, I can get hundreds of thousands of sales. Now granted, that's not actually going to happen because these people are essentially preying on the authors who are using kind of greed as their, as their uh, monetizing factor to try and get you to give them money. So what do you think? Have you found other scams out there? And uh, if you have, you know, by all means put a comment down below and let other people know about it. Uh, if you have anything else that you've noticed that you want to talk about, uh, by all means, drop a comment below. Maybe I'll get to it in a future episode. So thank you for watching this week's Writer Rant. I'm Benjamin M. Weilert.